is Savita Bodke and welcome to the quick revision series of international finance. In the today's lecture, we are going to study regarding the forward rate. In the forward rate, you are having two types of sum, simple sum and broken date sum. But before starting both the type of sum, you have to understand a very simple basic. They will give you the bid points and ask point in the question. The first step is that always you have to compare the bid points with the ask points. If the bid points are lower in comparison of your ask point, it means that the currency is available at the premium and we have to add this points. If the bid points are higher as compared to your ask point, it means that the currency is available at the discount and we have to subtract this point from the bid rate as well as from the ask rate. Again, I will repeat. If the bid points are lower, it means that the currency is available at the premium and we have to add that point. If the bid points are higher, it means that the currency is available at the discount and we have to subtract this point. Now we are going to start with the illustration 1. They have asked you that based on the following data, calculate 1, 2 and 3 month forward for USD INR and USD CHF rate. Now over here, they have given you USD INR rate, they have given you USD CHF rate. They have specified the spot rate means the current rate. And with the help of this current rate, they have given you 1 month forward, 2 month forward and 3 month forward. That is, they have specified you a forward points for bid as well as the ask. All these points are called as the bid points and this points are the ask points again this is the first position points is always the bid point and second position points are the ask point so they have given you the spot rate and they have given you the forward points now we have to compute the forward rates so how to start solving this so whatever the question they have given you for example, they have given you for the USD INR, the spot rate is of 54.0625 and 54.0675. That as it is, we have taken down. Now we have to compare both the points. For the one month forward, it is 85900. So bid points are lower as compared to your ask point. It means that the currency is available at the premium and as per the rule, we have to add this points over here in your spot rate for getting the one month forward rate. Now, here it is 850. But in case of the solution, we are not going to write down it as the 850 and 900. What we have to do? Whatever is the bid points they have given you. For example, they have given me 850 we have to divide it by the 10,000 now we are getting it as 0 0.0850 and in case of the 900 that is 900 divided by 10,000 it is 0 0.09 so I have to divide this 850 with the 10,000 so I'll get the amount as 0 0.0850 and in case of the 900 that will be 0 0.0900. Now we have to add this forward points to this spot rate means 54.0625 plus 0 0.0850 we will get the one month forward rate is of 54.1475. Now for the ask it is 54.0675 plus 0 0.0900 your one month forward ask rate will be 54.1575. Now we have to compute the th two months forward rate again we have to compare the forward points bid points are lower means the currency is available at the discount. Again, this points we have to divide by the 10,000. So, what will happen in case of the two months forward rate, the spot rate as it is, we are going to take down the spot rate, whatever they have given you as it is, we have taken down that spot rate. We are going to add this forward point. So, we have specified plus the premium is of the two month. So, premium is of the two months and we are going to take down this points as it is but we are going to divide it by the 10,000 so it will become 0 0.1875 and it is 0 
so we are going to add this to the spot rate then for the second month forward rate you will get as the 54.2500 and 54.2650 i think that this is so much easy now the next one we have to compute the three months forward rate again the same procedure spot rate we have to specify we have to compare the bid points and ask point again the bid points are lower as compared to your ask point it means that the currency is available at the premium so this points we are going to divide by the 10,000 so it will become 0 0.3025 and 0 0.3225 now we are going to add this to the spot rate so the 3 month forward rate for USD INR is 54.3650 and 54.3900 I hope that there is no confusion in case of your USD INR rate now the next one we are going to start with the USD CHF rate they have specified the spot rate again they have given you the bid points and ask point if you will notice over here your bid points are higher in case of the 1 month 2 month and 3 month forward rate as compared to the ask rate it means that the currency is available at the discount and whenever it is available at the discount what we have to do we have to subtract that points from the spot rate so now here we can see that again we have specified the spot rate over here as it is what they have given you now we are having the bid points and ask points again we are going to divide it by the 10,000 so for the one month forward bid points will become 0 0.0010 and forward ask points is 0 0.0005 now we are going to subtract this from your spot rate so for the USD CHF one month forward rate is 0 0.9685 and 0 0.9700 now for the two months forward rate we are already having the spot rate over here now we are having the spot rate here and for the second month forward we are having the bid points as well as the ask points as already we have discussed that we have to subtract this so spot rate we have specified as it is now we are going to divide this points that is 22 and 12 by the 10,000 so we will get it as 0 0.0022 and 0 0.00 one two now we are going to subtract it from the spot rate so for the two month forward rate of usd chf is 0 0.9673 and 0 0.9693 now for the three month we are having the forward points is of 37 and 22 so again bid is higher as compared to the ask so it is available at the discount and we are going to subtract this bid points again we are going to divide it by the 10,000 bid points as well as the ask points so from the spot rate we are going to subtract it so 3 months forward rate for USD CHF is 0.9658 and 0.9683 I hope that this concept is clear to all of you again please understand one simple thing if the bid points are lower as compared to your ask point currency is available at the premium so we have to add that point if the bid points are higher as compared to your ask points then the currency is available at the discount and we have to subtract that points always whatever the bid points and ask points they have specify in the question that we have to divide by the 10,000 so I hope that scoring the good marks in IF is so much easy now Thank you so much for watching this lecture.